Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video about a very recent update in Midjourney version 5.2. In this video, we'll cover how to set it up, how to combine it with the remix mode, what works and what doesn't. Don't miss the recap at the end. Before we get started, I'll leave a link in the description to Midjourney's official user guide where you could find more information. Right now, the very region function is available for 5.2 and later versions as well as the Niji mode. This tutorial won't work if you're using a previous version, so let's make sure you set up correctly by typing dash settings and selecting the latest version. By the way, turn off the remix mode for the moment. I also suggest you choose high variation mode over the lower one uh, to give me journey more space to process. All right, let's start by generating an image. I'm going for a gladiator in an arena. Once you're happy with one of the variations, simply upscale it to access the Vary Region button. With the Remix mode turned off, your panel will allow you to access two selection tools. They remind me of the lasso and the rectangular marquee from Photoshop. Um, to draw selections over a part of the image you want to change. For example, I think this image looks great, but I want to get rid of that headless statue in the background. So I'm going to select one of the tools, draw on, a, draw on it and click Submit. Then the planner closes and a job is started. Mijoni comes back with four new images and only the selected area has been modified on them. Sometimes the image won't change at all or you won't get what you specifically had in mind. In this case, to correct just something that didn't suit well, it's fine. But if you want to change part of your image without giving Midjourney too much freedom, that's where the remix mode comes in. Um, so let's get a step further and crash dash settings again. Uh, this time let's activate the remix mode and let's go back to the same exact upscale images and do my selection using the arrow in the corner. This time you can see a text area has shown up and allows you to order what you want to change in the selected area. By default, your entire prompt appears. What if I just simply keep it as it is and just add the desired elements? Not bad, not bad. Let's see how it does if I had if I had only asked for a sword. Um, the results are okay, slightly better than keeping the entire prompt. Let's now say I want to blend in a specific sword, uh, one from another image. The remix mode allows me to add a URL. I am not satisfied by those results, at least for the moment. I am sure Midjourney will train its model further and will get better results in the future. Now let's see if I can bring in another gladiator in the image. No, it can't. Let's wait, what if we now use a background without any subject and prompt one in? I hope uh, that was understandable. Whoa, crazy results. But there's something we can learn here. 
Midjourney tries to fill in the entire selected area. For this image, I took the word giant out of the prompt. But still Midjourney tried to fill in the entire area and I ended up with Taika, with that enormous dragon. Now let's try to bring in a specific dragon. Wow, amazing. The dragons got the same colors and spikes as in my reference image. Still not perfect, but I guess I could have been more specific in my prompt. I'm satisfied with those results and uh, it's a good uh, starting point. So let's recap what we learned today. 